back. So let me tell you what had happened. This is what had happened. Basketball was canceled. Why? I don't know. It's none of my business. I got the text early in the morning and I was like, what? What did you say? Like, I have a free Saturday to myself, so what should I do? Either I can stay in bed, I can get up and clean, or I can go way over on the other side of town and go to King Dollar and the 99 cent store, the Dollar Tree, like just all the stores. So that's exactly what I ended up doing. I hit up the King Dollar, which I'm so excited about. I found some really good goodies there. Dollar Tree as well. And then I ended up at Walmart, not by choice, out of necessity. So I did pick up one item at Walmart and then the Family Dollar as well, which I picked up something at Family Dollar day before yesterday. I'm just going to show you guys because it's super cute. So let's start off with Walmart because I only picked up one thing there. Now we ended up at Walmart only because the hubby got an all change maybe a week ago or something like that and the oil was leaking apparently they didn't screw something back on tightly i don't know it's walmart it is what it is so while we were waiting on them to do that i walked into the like um you know all where they have all the storage bins and storage containers for your kitchen all the glass uh, mason drawers and all that stuff there just to kind of browse to see if there's anything that Walmart had that I hadn't seen in any of the dollar stores lately since, you know, I'm on this whole mission to transition from plastic to glass and all that stuff there. Anyways, the other thing I picked up at Walmart were these Rubbermaid Take Alone Meal Prep Containers. It is a 20 piece, so 10 tops and 10 bottoms. They are super cute, super durable. They have them only in black. The base is black and then the um, tops are clear. And they just look like that. Simple, simple, simple. They are dishwasher safe, freezer safe, um, microwave safe, of course, without the top on it. Um, dishwasher safe, top rack, of course. And then they are BPA free. So they are a pretty thick, sturdy plastic. And I'm going to just rotate these into our meal prep containers and I thought this would be perfect for you know one whole meal for the hubby's lunch breakfast um and then maybe even dinner meals or you know what have you especially for me having my stuff prepped and already done that way hopefully nobody else eats it now, let me tell you my kids are all on this kick of whatever mama cooks she's cooking healthy and they don't want it but yet when I cook it and I'm sitting there enjoying my food they want a little taste here and there and they realize mm, this is delicious I do like this so when I go back in for my next meal it's safe by me because why they don't ate my stuff so y'all can't say it enough I just need my own house, my own refrigerator, my own everything, just my own. I love my family, I do. But man, I don't even understand how I ever gained weight when I never got a chance to really eat my food. Like my kids have always, you know, if you're a mom, heck, if you just deal with kids, period, even if you're probably just a caretaker, a teacher, or whoever, a uh, auntie, you understand what I'm saying when I say the kids should take everything and they eat everything. How did I ever manage to gain weight? I don't know. But anyways, I picked these up, uh, one, one pack of those, 20 piece, and they were $9.98. Now, I would typically get like the, um, what is it, Betty Crocker at the Dollar Tree. You can, sometimes they come either two to a pack for a dollar, which is a great price, or one to a pack, um, you know, one pack for a dollar, still a great price. Um, I just seen these, and I thought they were pretty neat, and they're a little bit, these are Rubbermaid, not Betty Crocker, so they're a little, just a tad bit thicker, just a tad bit, and I'm wanting to see if I can get away with putting like a whole meal, so let's say chicken and veggies or whatever fixed already, and then putting it in the freezer and freezing it and seeing if it comes out, you know, like good, like a TV dinner, basically making my own TV dinner. So that's my plan with that. Once I, you know, do another dish or something and make that up, I'll share that with you guys and share how um, that work with making our own TV dinners. Okay, the only thing I went into the Family Dollar for, um, was something for my sister. I was looking for a Pacific little brown containers that I have seen at the Family Dollar before. Didn't find any at this location I went to. I need to go back to my actual store and see if they still have them. Anyways, I've been working with my sister and helping her kind of, um, not kind of, but reorganize throughout her house and get systems in place. Like, you know, as if I know what I'm talking about or doing. Anyways, I'm the big sister and she think I do and so she got to listen to me. So that's what we doing. So anyways, I ended up picking up two things on clearance. I didn't find the bins that I was looking for, but I did find these cute photo frames for a dollar and fifty-five cents, and I just thought they were absolutely adorable. So freaking cute! Usually two dollars and fifty cents. 
but they were marked down for $1.55. So I picked up two. Not sure the camera is doing it any justice, but it's, it's a really pretty, like, um, pretty grayish tone. And it almost looked like, um, I don't know, like wood grain maybe. But I just thought they were so cute for $1.55. So I picked up those two. The only thing I found at the Family Dollar. Okay. Let's get into the Dollar Tree and then we'll get to King Dollar because King Dollar was just like on fire for me. And I was so excited that I went in there. Okay. So the Dollar Tree. I found another unicorn. I have been looking for these little dish holders for a century, it seems. Like legit a century. And I finally found them. Mind you, I went to the new location that opened a few months back. Now, that lo location is sweet. It's like they get all the good good. Like, all the new stuff when it comes out on the market, that store gets it. And I guess it's because of the new location. I don't know. I hope they keep it up. It's not It's not too far, but it, I do end up passing like two other Dollar Trees to go there. Nonetheless, it's worth it because the last couple times I have went, they definitely had either a unicorn item I've been looking for forever or they had some of the new items out. So anyways, um, I picked up, um, I don't know, eight. I maybe went over more. I picked up eight. So I have a couple of these that I utilize now in the kitchen to hold up my, um, like my baking sheets and my, um, you know, the cookie sheets and all that to hold those up. I did use one at one point in my office and in my daycare to hold files in. And then I switched over to just a dish pail. When I, basically when I took the dish pail away from the sink area because I got taught of my kids not clean it. You guys know. You put your dishes in there, they dry off, but you have to clean the dish pail at least maybe once, twice, if not three times a week because otherwise it gets nasty. Anyways, nobody else was cleaning it. I got ticked off about it, cleaned it up, took it away, and I decided to use it in the daycare area. So I use it as like a little following system. Anyways, I picked up eight of these. What I'm going to do with them? I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm going to find something to do with them. The fact is that I've been looking for them for a century and I couldn't find them. And I finally found them. So... Yeah, I picked up eight. Now, I am going to be working on reorganizing the Tupperware. So, I am thinking I can put this in the cabinet that I'm thinking about moving all the Tupperware into. And I can use it to store, like, the top. So, it's a thought. But it was a dollar. And I would rather be safe than sorry kind of thing, you know. So, I picked up eight. Anyways, again, I'm helping my sister out. So, it may be a chance that I use some in her house. Who knows? Okay. And then... Let me show you guys this complete guilty pleasure here. I have no business buying this, but look at this. The Aquaman little baggie. These are the reusable baggies. I'm in love with reusable baggies. I use these for all things, especially when I'm couponing and I'm at CVS getting all the body wash and shampoo and all the stuff. These bags are perfect to haul everything in. Love, 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 love it. Look at that. So cute. So, so cute. I mean, I mean, come on. So cute. Mason Cena. Oh, mommy, brought me a bag. Uh, no. <laughs> brought myself a bag. Like, chill out, dude. So, so cute. So, I brought two, you know, for good measure. You know what I'm saying? For good measure. I mean, I mean, I mean, look. I mean, look. I mean, look. It just, you know, it makes me, it makes me smile. It makes me smile. Look at that. Like, I mean, just, just, just look at him. Just, anyways, before the hubby come downstairs, like, what you talking about? Look at him. Just look. Yeah. So I brought two for good measure. <laughs> so, so cute. Okay. And then at the Dollar Tree, simple, just some duct tape that had, um, it's like a little foil type, I don't know, pattern on it. I don't know if you can see that. The camera probably is not giving it any justice. But it is duct tape. And it is a little bit like shiny um, or what have you. But Mason picked these two out for a project that we have in his room. So, yeah, just duct tape. Gotta love the Dollar Tree for those random things as such. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, I found sort of, kind of, kind of, sort of another unicorn. I have seen these at the Dollar Tree plenty of times. Um, and I just had never really, I picked up some like way back when. And never went back and picked up any. But I have been, it's on my list of all the things I've been looking to pick up from the Dollar Tree for all the projects I have planned in my life. So anyways, my store, again, just completely wiped out. And my store is so messy. Like, I get, I just, eh, don't even want to go in there. So I've been going to the new, new lo location. So I picked up these cute little photo frames, four by six. I think I picked up, I think I picked up two in this size. I have a picture of me and the hubby that I want to put in here, and I think I'm going to put it in the breakfast nook area. It's so, so pretty. Hopefully, the camera is doing it some type of justice, but they have like little dots on them, and it's just, 
it's just cute 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 so i picked up uh two of those and then this was a five by seven i picked up two of these as well and i just thought they were absolutely adorable so so cute and then the one that I would say is more like a unicorn for me that I haven't been able to get my hands on in a while is this huge 11 by 14 size frame. So anytime I do see these at the Dollar Tree, like I will pick up quite a few just because, and again, at my store, I typically don't see them. But the new store, it's around now. So it's getting all the good stuff. So hopefully now um, it's kind of, it's a staple item, but just my locations always seem to be out or they're so picked over that they are all, you know, broken up and just, non-usable or I wouldn't want to pay a dollar if it's broken let me say that okay so anyways I picked up four of these uh yeah four of these and then I got the eight by ten as well and I picked up four of these I got a ton of pictures that I need to get to hanging up and all that stuff there who knows when that's going to happen who has the time for that life but I need to get that done so with the 11 by 14 this is my plan the girls room I'm working on as well as Mason this here says follow your dreams so, so, so cute. See that? So cute. So cute. I love these little clean stickers. These are great to put in these photo frames. Like, they work so perfectly. So, my plan is to use this inside of here and make nice little art for the, um, the girls' room. So, so, so cute. Love, love, love that. And then I picked up one that said, Bless. And I think we want to put this one on the front door. It's time to change out the one that we have. We had one... Um, I think it says welcome to this home all who enters be blessed or something like that But for a dollar, I mean they last a really good time our front door is under like it's not exposed It's underneath the porch. Yeah, we have a porch. So, um And not really a porch like you would have you know back home in Louisiana, but you know we have a cover to say it that way So anyways, um, they last for a good while. So at a dollar I mean, yeah, I'll pick up a couple of these and as it wear and tear we need to exchange, you know change it out I'll do so this one says create and venture for yourself and Jada picked up this one. So I thought that was cute as well. And again, that would be a perfect one to put inside one of these frames. And this would make a really nice gift. You get a really nice cute little coat like this one or, or any and put it inside a frame and you know, you can make that a gift. I think that is super, super adorable. This one says women are angels. When someone breaks our wings, uh, we continue to fly. I picked this one up for my sister and my plan is to actually put it into one of these frames and make it a gift for her. Um, I'm hoping to give it to her for Mother's Day, but I probably end up giving it to her beforehand because, well, I want to give it to her. So absolutely gorgeous. I love, love, love that. So cute. And again, for $2, you got a whole nice little fancy gift there. Two bucks, the frame and then the, the little quote. And then in Mr. Mason's room, okay, Mason picked up this Mario Brothers I don't know why. It's not like he even plays this. But this is the one he wanted. And so, like a sucker, I brought it. So, I probably will take this one. It's not many. Well, there are quite a few pieces. But I will probably. Now, you can put these on the wall. I'm not going to put them on the wall. I'll probably get him a frame like this in white or red, maybe. And put this in the frame. However, I chose Black Panther for him. But, again, he wanted the Mario Brothers. So, I chose the Black Panther one, and my plan with this one is to put it inside of a frame and hang it on his wall um, as decor. Now, I'm hoping to find more in, like, the superhero action figure, um, you know, line or whatever to make him, like, maybe four or so different photos with different superheroes. Batman, Black Panther, Spider-Man, and whoever else we may end up finding as well. So, that is a plan there with those gotta love the dollar tree for these simple easy little diys that you could come up with that would look so nice and fancy stuff like that now you know you brought a frame and um hobby lobby with the superheroes in it or even a quote you're gonna pay a good you you're not gonna get out that store without paying over ten dollars if not more depending on what size frame you end up getting so i mean 14.99 $21 or something like that at Hobby Lobby when you can make it for two dollars. I'm about that like all day every day Okay, uh, that was everything for the Dollar Tree. Let's get into King Dollar. So I'm here in Houston area. We have a store called King Dollar Everything inside the store is $1.25 or less otherwise more King Dollar isn't always my go-to store just because it is a little ways out for me and in order for me to get there I really got to plan my time out um, and just really, you know, be strategic about getting on that side of town. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Anywho, I follow Coupon to provide on Instagram as well as here on YouTube, but I've seen a few things that she hauled recently and pictures that she showed from King Dollar, um, her King Dollar hauls and whatnot. And I was like, okay, I got to get by that store and get some things. So I made myself all the list and I was so excited to find some of the things that um, I seen that she hauled or she showed as a picture. So let's get into it. First up, we're going to start off with something for the fur baby. I found this cute little fancy fur soap dispensing groomer, like little foam thingamajiggy. We already opened it, of course, because we had to come home and quickly give Lola a bath. She didn't even need a bath. We just wanted to use it on her, like for real. So you put your, the, um, what you call that, the shampoo in there, and then you squeeze it, and it lathers up, and then you just, you know, clean the doggy with it. And I just thought that was absolutely adorable. And I figured, too, you know what? That would save my little nails, because usually I got my gloves on, and I'm in there, I'm doing this here, and she loves that, right? So we decided to use this instead. Now, let me tell you. She wasn't too impressed. I think it may have been because she knew it. Today ain't bad day. Why the heck is these people putting me in this water? She wasn't too impressed. But, you know, we got a kick out of it. So, that is what we did. We used this here for Miss Lola. So, so cute. And it was $1.25. Then I picked up two packs of this double-sided tape. Um, just for some craft projects that we have planned. So, you know, thought it would be great. I picked up really one for myself. And then the husband was like, oh, I need some too. And I'm like, what you need it for? What you doing? What you doing? Well, it's double-sided tape. I could use that for something. What are you going to use it for? Anyway, so I picked up two of these. One for me and one for the husband. Well, it's for the house. So again, I got to keep myself separate. Because if I don't, they will use everything. They will use everything and just disregard altogether that it was meant to be for me. Okay. Keeping along with Miss Lola the Pug, look at this. Absolutely adorable. It's a little collar. Look at that. So, so cute. And it's pretty thick, too, like an actual belt belt. So thick. And it has the little doggies on there. Now, I, will, I won't lie. We really, we really don't put a collar and a leash on Lola. Lola don't go nowhere. And then when she do go somewhere, she in somebody's lap. Let's be for real about it. But, I mean, at $1.25, I thought, why not for the days that we are actually being responsible pet owners? You know, whatever. So, I ended up picking up two, the exact same ones. One in purple, one in pink because I couldn't decide which one to get her. And Mason was like, Mama, just get both. And I was like, you know what? Why not? Why not just get both? So, we got the purple and we got the pink. And, I mean... Come on. So cute. So cute. So Lola would be so fashionable. Where are we going? Nowhere. Probably to the doctor and that's about it. Okay. Then next up, I picked up this cute picture frame for the girl's bedroom. It has a zebra print. It's a pink frame. I mean, it's just absolutely adorable. Love, 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 love it. So cute. So the girls have a, quite a few pictures of just them together. So my plan is to obviously put one of those pictures in here and display this in their room. And it comes with the back, of course, where you can just, you know, sit it down like so, or you can hang it up if you wanted to. So again, hot pink and zebra print. I mean, can you go wrong with that? No, no, you can't. Absolutely adorable. Love, love, love. All right, so that. I just love when I find these random little gadgets at stores like the dollar stores, Dollar Tree, 99 cent store, King Dollar, etc. This is a vegetable spiral shredding gadget. And I mean, for $1.25, why not give it a try, right? Instead of buying one of the really huge ones, which I really do want one. Um, so I am probably still going to end up buying one at some point. But it is super cute, super tiny, and I mean, I, I figured, you know, you put your, um, this here got the little grips so that it grips the vegetable, you put it in, and you get to twisting, and it comes out this end as spirals. So, let's hope that it works as it say it does, and stuff. $4.25, I figured, why not? Absolutely perfect, adorable. The hub has seen it. And he was like, hey, is this on your list? And I was like, oh, it sure is. I believe Miss Coupon to provide either she hauled it or she showed it in one of her Instagram pics. Don't remember, but I had it on my list of something I wanted to make sure I look for. I will tell you guys, one thing is that King Dollar is a pretty huge store. Um, and they have so much stuff, like so, so much stuff. And it's quite easy to get like distracted and completely overwhelmed and then forget all the things that you were going in to look for. So what I started doing was literally writing all the little lists so that when I do have time to get to King Dollar, I hit that list first to see if they have the things that I wanted to get. And then from there, I will just walk around the store and pick up all the other things that I needed, but I didn't know I needed until I saw it. You know what I mean? So anyways, keeping along the lines with veggies and stuff, 
I found these fresh bags. It is a 10 piece. They were 15 by 9.8. Um, it says it can be reused up to eight times. So that is perfect. It is meant to keep your fruits and veggies lasting a whole lot longer. So we will see how that works out. It says it is a fresh bag. Fresh bags help absorb damaging gases that help prolong the life of fruits and vegetables and flowers. So I do prep my foods throughout the week and we put them either in glass um, containers or plastic containers, put them in the refrigerator, etc. Sometimes I'm able to get a really good deal on a ton of produce and well, don't want it to go to waste before we can use it for the following week or in the middle of a certain week, you know, you get my gym. So I thought I would give these a try to hold those, um, the extra produce and whatnot that we may get for the week and so on. So I'll let you guys know how that works and if it works out pretty great when I go back by King Dollar, I'll probably pick up more and throw it in like a bin to do a giveaway um, here pretty soon. Okay, and then I picked this up just out of pure pleasure. I mean, look how cute this is. It's just one of those little keychain puff balls and it has an owl, owl on it and the little feet and y'all, it's so soft, right? It's so soft. Mason actually had picked up I think he picked up one that was a unicorn and then one was a ducky. And I was like, where you got that from? He's like, right there. So, yeah, it's blue. Blue is my color. It's just so cute. And it's so soft. So cute, so soft. So, yeah, picked it up for myself. That is that. Okay. And then I picked up this cute little basket. Why? I don't know. It's just cute. It's white and it has that grayish and black color to it. And I just think it's cute. I think it would look nice over in the um, breakfast nook area once I start getting that together. And I'm thinking I can put in, um, you know, like pods in there, the coffee pot. So, I don't know. It's just, it's cute. So, I picked it up for $1.25. Sometimes you just got to go for it. You know what I mean? Just got to go for it. So, so cute. So, so cute. Okay. Moving right along. So, now this is what I was like. I got to get by King Dollar and get one of these. I was so sad that they had just a limit of one of these. And mind you, I seen when Coupon to Provide posted that. And she stated that in her Instagram um, post that it was one per person. Wasn't thinking about that. Got to the register and I had two in my basket, one for me and one for my aunt. And then when I got there, I was like, oh man, we need to buy one. It's like, dang it. And I was going to be like, okay, and then have the hubby go back in, but because he's always right there. He was right there with me. So it was kind of like obvious that we were together. And I didn't want to have to fight these people. So I let it go. So when I get back by there, I plan on getting another one. That's my plan. But look at this before I take it out. This is so, so, so cute. Look at this. So, so cute. So, 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 so cute. So my thought process as soon as I seen this was like, ooh, that would be so cute and fancy to put your cookies in. No one I shouldn't be thinking about nobody cookies, but that's what I was thinking about cookies. So this is how it is. It has the little glass tray, as you can see, and then it just nicely sits on top. I mean, look at that. So when I make my healthy cookies, as the kids say, I can put those in there. I mean, it's just so cute. That was my thought anyway, was cookies. Like, you know, cookies. I mean, how cute is that? How adorable is that? So, so cute. And $4.25. I mean, Yes, can't beat that at all. So my plan is to hopefully get back by the store and pick up, you know what, I'm going to leave this out because I'm going to wash this and I'll be utilizing this. Um, I'm hoping to get back by the store soon before they run out of these. Hopefully they do not. And I will pick up another one from my aunt, bring the hubby or the kid with me so that they can buy another one and throw that in for a giveaway as well. Okay. On the same line of house stuff and just cute stuff to have, I found these adorable glass containers. Look at this. So, so cute. These are by Blue Harbor, and they're like a grayish blue with a black top. So, so, so pretty. It has the, oh, it comes with the chalk already, and it has the little label here a chalk label that's already on the jar and it comes with chalk inside so that is perfect now i actually have a chalk marker that i use for my chalkboard labels but you know that works and it even says blue harbor on the side as well this is so pretty like so 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 pretty so i'm thinking that this is going to definitely go into the um breakfast nook area once again we get all that set up what i'm putting inside of it i don't know 
but it was cute. And so I picked up two. I, I controlled myself. I didn't go for four. I didn't get six. I only got two. So cute. Now they also had them in a more like electric blue color, which uh, wasn't my thing. But these here were just so, so adorable. So I couldn't pass those up. So, so cute. The hubby was like, how many containers are you going to buy? And I'm like, all of them. All of them until I find, like, I got them all. Like, all of them. Don't, don't come for me. That's what I have to tell them. Don't come for me. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, y'all, look at this. Look at this. Now, I picked up one of these. The same exact style, but the lid was solid. But, and then it was smaller from the Dollar Tree. This one here is huge. I don't know if you can really see or gather that, but it's huge. So my thought for this is either we can do like mints in here, again, in the breakfast nook area around the um, coffee station, mints in here, or even the coffee itself, because I mean, the top comes off, obviously. It will sit flat like this, and then you can put your scoop in and scoop out your coffee. So I don't know, but it's absolutely adorable, and I could not leave it in store. I mean, look at this. OMG, like yes please so so cute so and i love the fact that it was glass see-through now i only picked up one because i did pick up the smaller one at the dollar tree and i got two of those i believe so you know kind of resisting myself there but i only picked up one but just absolutely adorable and i just love the fact that it is a see-through top i just think it's so cute so 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 cute okay and then i found these containers now I am planning on going back to King Dollar like soon because they had all the containers. And my issue was like, dang it, I'm so smart. Like I didn't have my, I have a little notebook I used to keep in my purse and I have all the measurements for like anything I'm working on so that I know whether or not, you know, if I pick up something that's going to work, blah, blah, blah. And the little notebook, I took it out when I was measuring something in the bathroom and put it on my desk and then I put it back in my purse, blah, 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 blah. And I didn't have it with me, so I couldn't get all the jars that I wanted to get because my thing was like, if I get them and then they don't fit, then I have to bring them back and whatever. So I will be going back because I like got to get all the jars. So I found this one here, absolutely adorable. It's a cutie. It's a little one, but it's so cute, like so cute. And they had them in different sizes, like different heights, and then also different widths as well. So, so cute. So I picked up two of these just to start off with until I measure, which I came home and got my little book to make sure. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the store and pick up more. But it's just so cute. Now, I can definitely see having, um, you know, peanuts in here, our seeds in there. Like just, I mean, so adorable. So, so, so adorable. So I do want to go back and pick up the bigger ones. Just want to make sure that it was going to fit. That was the thing. And I'm not thinking about it. It was $1.25. I should have just went ahead and picked them up. But they had like an entire section full. So I'm pretty sure they're going to have some more when I go back. That's, that's my hope anyway. Okay. And then I picked up this little one here. Still absolutely cute. And it has a top with the little green... Um, like circle on it well not light circle but a green circle so this one is also cute they had these in red as well and the green and i think maybe white if but I'm again in the pantry with you know snacks in it i mean all the things i just think it would be absolutely adorable it is a little one as well and they had them in different sizes and different widths in this one as well and i just think you know they're absolutely adorable just so so cute love 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 that so i am definitely definitely going back by king dollar i got to get back by that yep 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 okay and then i found these cute little crosses look at this so so cute it has a nice little weight to it as well but it's so so pretty and for a dollar 25 it's a nice little item to put up it's just some you know knick-knack decor is what i call it and then i found the one that's in like that bluish color that i absolutely love i should have picked up two one to have in the breakfast nook area and one to have in my office. So when I go back, I'll probably get another one because my office is this blue color as well. And it's just so, so adorable. Again, just little tricket, knick-knack type items that, you know, makes the home feel all warm and cozy. Now, the blue one is smaller than the brown one. I don't know if you can really tell. Um, but, yeah, it's smaller. So I think I am going to get another one for my office. And then... You know, I just put it up and have one for the breakfast look and one for the office. So, so cute. Okay, so, so cute. we're almost okay. done here. Now, the hubby and I are going to be taking a small little trip. And by small, I mean we are leaving the States. And we shall be gone for technically five days. Yeah, because travel there, travel back. So, technically five days. 
And my biggest worry has not been the human kids. They'll be fine. They'll figure it out. They'll take care of themselves for all I, for all I care. No, they'll be fine. My mother-in-law is going to come and stay with them. But my issue has been the fur baby. Of course, no one's going to care for your fur baby the way you do. And you guys know I make all of her meals straight up fresh. She gets fresh breakfast every morning. So I wanted to make sure that... Um, I have things as easy as possible for the mother-in-law so that way she can just, you know, grab what Lola needs to eat at that meal and, you know, go on. So I didn't want to, I, I don't know, I just wanted to make sure things would be so, so easy for her. So I had been looking for some reusable containers, but then I was like, is she going to really want to wash them? And I don't want to have all these containers and, you know, etc. And then I was like, I'm going to just find some Foreo containers and we'll just use that. And I'm trying to figure out what I was going to do. Like when we at home, I typically do meals for a few days in a, a dish for Lola. And we'll just pull all of that for her dinners and what have you. However, I was like, mm, I don't know. Maybe I want to do pre-portion. That way, if one of the kids goes to feed Lola, I can make sure that she's getting exactly the portion size that she needs to get, etc., etc. So, that being said, I found these three-pack pie, pie pans, and they're five by one three-fourths. Very cute. Simple little small pans. They come with the plastic um, clear top as well, and it's three to a pack for $1.25. So, thinking this will work, I will go ahead and fix her up her dinners, um, cook them up in the crock pot, pre-portion them out, and then freeze them in this. And then that way, each morning, all my mother-in-law have to do is pull out what Lola's going to eat, just one of these here for her dinners, and... Um, Pretty much leave it on the counter so get the frost. And if she wants to wash it, she can wash it. Now, me personally, I would probably reuse a container like this a few times until it's like really nasty. You can't reuse it anymore. But if she doesn't want to wash, then that's fine too. She can simply throw it away. No love lost. So I picked up like six packs of these just that way I can be sure that Lola is taken care of. Now, by all means, at first day, Lola's going to be all in her feelings and she's probably not going to want to eat anyway it's just how she be she be so like emotional and stressed when we leave her for any length of time now even though she knows the mother-in-law she the kids are going to be home with her she's just going to be in her feelings so i'm pretty sure that first day she's just not going to want to eat and then the day after that her stomach will be touching her back so she will eat okay so along those lines i also found this 10 pack of aluminum um aluminum containers and lids so it's um 10 total I think yeah, it's 10 containers total. So I picked these up as well. These are a little bit um, deeper as far as the storage. So I don't know, but I, I seen them. I was like, you know what, why not? I'm sure I can use it for something. Heck, I might even use this for my own small portion meals um, because I don't eat a lot. I don't eat, I don't eat as often. And I don't eat a huge portion of meals either. So maybe when I'm doing freezer meals, I'll freeze out a little bit of, you know, for myself. And I can take out what I need when I want it, you know, whatever. So pick these up too. And then after I had brought all these, um, well, I put those in my basket. I didn't check out yet. We was walking up to the front. I seen the guy putting these out. And well, because I'm a sucker for all things storage containers, I brought these as well. So these are family made everyday living 20 piece food storage containers. They're size 10 ounces, food safe, dishwasher safe, um, freezer safe, BPF, BPF, BPA free and dollar empire. I don't know who that is, but yeah, all that. So they're cute. It has 10 containers and then 10 lids. So 20 piece total. So I brought these here and again, just food storage, food prep, whether it be for us or for Lola, the fur baby. And then last but not least, the exact same um, company. But these here are a 10-piece set, two-section food containers. Let me open these because I was going to open these in the store. My husband was like, don't do that. Don't be that person. I was like, well, why not? He's like, don't do that. But I wanted to see just how, um, how deep they actually went. And let's see here. Let's see. Let's open it. Why not? Why not? So, my thought process behind this was, they're just cute, and I like them. That's all. <laughs> There's no other reason. There's no other reason. But, I did think, come on, come on. Okay. I didn't think they would be great for snacks. So, it has, you know, two separate compartments there. So, I thought, yeah, this would be pretty neat for snacks um, or what have you. So, I don't know. We will see. We will see. We will. It's going to get used. And I even thought, too, 
um, for Lola. So like when I do, because we're starting to mix protein. So I'm doing like chicken and beef together, chicken and pork, etc., etc. So maybe having, you know, one meal um, here with roast beef and veggies and then another meal with chicken and veggies or whatever. So she'll have one for dinner and then, you know, the other for um, dinner the next day or one for lunch, whatever. I don't know. They were cute. They were $1.25. And I was like, I can use these. I will figure out something, some reason or another to use these. That was my thought. Y'all, I'm starting to get kind of out of control with all these dang old containers I've been buying. But, like, I need them all. You know, I need them all in my life. And even so, having this as a snack, you know, I can, as snack container, put your snacks in here on one side and, you know, whatever you want to have on the other side. So, I don't know. They're just cute. And I thought that was perfect. So, I picked up one pack of those. I'm just, you know, losing my mind when it comes to these containers. But it's all good. It's all good. So, that is everything. Super long haul, I'm pretty sure, because I had a lot of things to share with you guys. Nonetheless, as always, I appreciate you guys indulging my crazy and hanging out with me. Um, I have just been spending all my little money, all my little allowance on all the things, but I am so, like, I have all my little plans and I have my ideas in my head on what I'm going to do in that pantry, in all three of the freezers. The front refrigerator, I kind of sort of already have like a little bit of an organizing system going. I'll be sharing that with you guys as well. And then the back refrigerator, I do need to kind of organize that or revamp it some as well. We have the different shelves. I just can't remember where we put them at. I couldn't find them in the crawl space attic, so my thought is they got to be in the big attic. And I got to wait for the hubby because I'm too scared to go up there by myself. So, anyways, with all that being said, thank you so very much for watching. Definitely be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you have not done so already. And as always, guys, comment down below. Let me know what random finds you have picked up lately from either the 99 cent store, the Dollar Tree, King Dollar, or any other dollar type stores that you may have in your area. As always, thanks so very much. And until next time, guys, bye.